It's now time for Remember When with Uncle John. John Guess, Washita County's resident storyteller and local historian. Sit back now and enjoy a walk down memory lane as John recalls the days of yesteryear in his own unique way. You never know, some of it might even be true. So here's Uncle John, along with his trusty sidekick, Kelly Blair. Back on Remember When with Uncle John. Well, here we are Thursday, next best thing to a Friday. We've been talking wrestling all week. We're going to talk about it a little bit more with our man Mark Givens. Now, John, you and I were talking with Mark just a little bit earlier uh, we all grew up, or I grew up, and you guys were a little bit older than me, watching the Von Erichs world-class wrestling and everything. And at one time, there wasn't a bigger feud in the world than the Von Erichs versus the Freebirds. Absolutely not. It was, to me, the premier wrestling feud of all time. Yeah, wrestling might have peaked right there in the early 80s. I mean, it. you know, there's been, there's been of course, there's been more money thrown at it. There's been bigger venues. There's been more exposure. There's been all the things that came along with pay-per-views and things like that and WrestleManias and all that. But for the fan, the the down-to-earth, blue-collar, eight-to-five guy that goes out and works during the day and gets off and wants to go have some popcorn and drink a beer and watch a good slobber knocker, the Von Erich Freebird feud was the epitome of wrestling. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. And, and all the different matchups you could do there, you know, one on one three times yeah. or you know a tag team with a singles match or one big six man match the Von Erichs versus Freebirds as far as i'm concerned established six man wrestling forever absolutely I mean, you know, I mean, it was never as big before i'm not sure it's ever been as big now but it's still around now mainly because of all those guys so now mark you said uh, you've wrapped up filming the, the the it's all in the can so to speak we're just waiting around for a release date on the iron claw that's the name of the yeah, movie. the Iron Claw. It's a Sean Durkin film. Um, the Iron Claw. They've they've said since I've got involved, twenty twenty three. There hasn't been a, a definite date, and to my knowledge, there hasn't been one released yet. But I do know that they they quit filming because we all got notices that we could get haircuts <laughs> and um, go ahead and get, you don't have to keep the same look. In case we had to go down for a reshoot, they could always take some off, but you couldn't put it on. And so they just ask us not to. And I learned in doing this stuff that uh, that's half of it is uh, doing what they say, what oh, they yeah. ask you to, and being on time and just showing up, not causing any Being problems. where you're supposed to be, be yep. where you're on time, be take ready to do what you're supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, and that's what I did. And uh, the coolest thing when I walked on set, at the, what they had made up the sportatorium was I, I saw two people. One of them was James Beard, who I've known for years. He was a referee in world class back in, in the heyday. But uh, so they had him working on the film as a referee. So he was in uh, he was in costume at catering that morning nice. in his referee outfit. And then uh, Chavo Guerrero, who I'd worked with before. Uh, he was the stunt coordinator and the wrestling coordinator. So when I saw them guys there at catering that morning at breakfast, and I was like, okay, this is going to be pretty fun. Absolutely. Yeah. There you go. That's a pretty good deal right there. Yeah, So, but I'm anxious to see. Um, like I said, Jeremy Allen White is probably the breakout actor this year, and he won a Golden Globe last week with uh, for The Bear, uh, which I haven't seen, but I want to. But then, of course, with Zac Efron, he's hot right now. Oh, yeah. And then Lily James, Mara Turney, uh, Hoyt McElhinney, um looks just like Fritz von Erich. Oh, wow. And he was in character the whole time, whole time. <laughs> in the blue, light blue leisure suit yep. with the crew cut and uh, talk Fritz. just like Fritz. And, uh, yeah, so it, it was, it's a really good cast. And then Harris Dickinson plays David. I forgot about it. He was in the movie um, I just saw uh, where the crawdad sings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and um, and so he's a young up-and-comer. But uh, I'm anxious to see. I'm kind of guessing uh, – uh, maybe summer, but it may okay. be later in the year. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool if it's coming out in the summer. Uh, I mean, this is just totally cool. I know we've been talking about this all week, and we still barely scratched the surface on covering a whole lot of it. We'd love to have you come back uh, in a couple of months, Mark, when we maybe sure. we have yeah, I'd love date. to. Yeah. Uh, all that kind of stuff. We'll hype it up uh, all over the place and, uh, you know, let everybody know what's going on. Yep. The one thing I was disappointed about in the film is that they didn't have anyone – <clears throat> portraying my godfather general skandar akbar oh okay. and they didn't have anyone portraying gary hart he oh, was okay. playboy gary hart yeah playboy. who uh what? he was probably the mastermind behind a, a lot of those uh 
uh, angles and stuff with the free birds. I was fixing to say, Eric you talk and, about one of the grandfathers of wrestling. Gary Hart was feuding with Fritz Von Eric when he was in his show. Sure. Prime. And now let me go back. They may have had somebody in the film that I'm just not aware of, but I didn't hear and I haven't read of anybody. But, uh, um, but I was, it was like a time capsule being on a set with the guys. The guys playing the Freebirds were all wrestlers in uh, Georgia for Billy Corgan's NWA. Oh, very cool. And they were just spot on. And I was really impressed with uh, what Efron had learned and the stuff he did in the ring. Short period of time. Uh, yeah, in a short they had, they had trained him. And, you know, Chavo had spent a lot of time with them and everything. And so uh, I think people that are fans are going to really love the film man i can't wait yeah. I'm, I'm already looking forward to it like i said mark we'll have you back in a little closer to time when yeah, it's going to be Anytime. released yeah and uh really appreciate you coming in and, and visiting with us on the remember when with uncle john show oh man this was a lot of fun i appreciate you having me so john i know uh, you're looking forward to it just like i am i guess we'll break from this and get ready for top tune friday absolutely see you tomorrow man see you tomorrow kelly You've been listening to Remember When with Uncle John on Y95. This broadcast can be heard each weekday morning at 645 on South Arkansas's favorite station, Y95.